and we all know about the River Fire of 69. And as, as somebody who's interested in the history of Cleveland and Cuyahoga River, I know that wasn't the best fire. You know, I know there was other fires that could have burned down Cleveland had not the wind shifted to the, from the north. I remember a 52 fire, I think, that was, uh, I think that one probably would have won the prize for the best fire. I was actually working the day that the river caught on fire, and actually working as a hatch tender on the ships. So it's kind of unusual when somebody would yell fire and tell you to run away from the river, because the river is generally water. But when you were working down on the river at that time, the river was like a cauldron. It would just bubble up, oxygen trying to get out of the river. It had a coat of oil on it. And you'd see rats float down the river the size of dogs, bloated from whatever it was that they ingested. And there was a rule that if you fell in the river, you immediately went to the emergency room in the hospital. So the idea that the, the idea here was don't fall in the river. <laughs>